It's about um, I don't know, 8 30, 9 o'clock, Sunday morning. No church today. We're just catching up with Tommy here at Sand Palms. Gonna feed his two crocodiles. One I haven't seen yet. It's meant to be pretty gnarly, pretty fast, so we're gonna go and check it out. Tommy, you're saying you don't want to jump in with this guy, mate? Oh, mate, I think it's gonna be a little while before he settles down yet, mate. He's, uh, <laughs> he's fairly uh, enthusiastic about everything. If you want to go in there and have a little play with him, mate, I'm happy to come and film you. <laughs> okay, okay. We're just going in here with Tommy and two dogs. We're going to check two dogs out first. Here's his pen. You can see how green it is there. It's usually when you pump a bit of fresh water in. Did you top this up the last couple of days, Tommy? Yeah, filled it up yesterday, Matty. We had to do uh, a bit of evaporation that time of the year, so you got to keep on it. So when you pump a bit of fresh water in with the old water, it gets this green algae on top, and then it settles down and goes back. When the crocodile comes launching out of it, it's all covered in green. Looks like the Loch Ness monster covered in algae. Well, that, yeah. You want that? Yeah. All right. It looks like I'm, I'm going to feed. I'm going to feed this croc. I'm going to set this little GoPro up here somewhere. Where's he going to come out, mate? Right? What are you, mate? So. so humidity at the moment, what do you reckon Tommy? About 90% I'd say mate, it uh, feels like it at least. So it's, it's pretty hot, this time of the year crocodiles are getting very active and this is about the time that you have um, you know, human, human crocodile conflicts, people getting eaten, people getting attacked because crocs are getting quite lively, it's mating season, they're getting, quite, they're getting very hungry, they're getting warm. And you'll see two dogs here, how long's two dogs been here for Tommy? He's, he's been here three years next month. Okay, that's two dogs for you. He's a bit faster. Grab me, sir. Hey, I say he's pretty hungry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Okay, steady, mate. Okay. Come on. Uh-uh, steady. All right, as you see, I was trying to look out what's behind me. I didn't run, want to run into a tree. Two dogs are starting to lose a few teeth here. They do that from time to time. They shed their teeth. They'll grow new teeth back. You can see he's a lot faster than our other crocs that we've got out there. Reason is, he's a bit smaller. He's a lot more agile, and he's just got, well, for starters, he's got four feet too. So he's, he's a lot faster than uh, tripod. <laughs> this size animal, it's mainly the size that is uh, responsible for a lot of crocodile attacks in, uh, in Northern Australia. He's about the 14, 15 foot mark. Very fast, very aggressive, and always hungry. The bigger crocs, they're the boss croc, and they sort of, they look after these guys and keep them in check like the old grandfather. All right, Tommy. Very good, Matty. Where are we off to now? We'll go next door. Do you want me to get him back in the water? Um, I'm I'll sure, he, I'm sure he knows where it is. <laughs> hey. He's fairly enthusiastic this time of the year, eh? Hey. Two dogs. I'll leave it up to your imagination of why he's called two dogs and why he's in captivity these days. Hey, mate. All right, so you can see that Tommy's just moving him around. He's starting to get a little bit lethargic, so he's had his burst of energy. He's come out, he's done a run around his pen, he's gone back into the water. Now he's slowed down a bit. Come on, Ooh. there we go. There you go, mate. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Uh -uh, that's enough. Well, this one's not meant to be the fast one, so we're going to look at the fast one now. What's the fast one's name, mate? Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> well, that's what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> well, that's suitable. The colour of that water. <laughs> Look at that. Do you reckon we get him? He'll come out this side, eh? I reckon he will. He knows we've here got we food. Go. Hang on a sec. Here he comes. Just hold on a sec. Let me put this here. I want to get a little shot of him coming out. Come on, mate. Come on. Here he comes. He's here. coming for a little bit of a peep. Ready? Oh yeah! Come on! Hello! Watch out, there's nothing behind me. First thing. Oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! Uh 
Calm down. Okay, so he's got his pig. He's not a massive crocodile. But very pretty crocodile, isn't he? Okay, there he goes. Beautiful head on him. I reckon my little girl will go well with this I one. I reckon she would, mate. So you reckon, Make guys, a... we should bring Jilly out here. For breeding pair. Give him a girlfriend. <laughs> All right, so. Guys, that's Tommy's crocs out here at Sand Palms. So if you're up here in the territory, down here, grab a cold Great Northern. Come and see Tommy. Hey mate. Hey, where is bro? And feed the crocodiles. Hey, Amen. Okay. <laughs> I like getting his little watch down. Oh, you like that, mate, eh? You like the haze? We've just left Tommy's place up there at Sand Palms, heading down to the lagoon here to go and see some animals on the uh, on the lagoon. Lucky we're in the raptor. That's gonna get us through it. We've just um, made it down to the lagoon. We've just started to get a bit of rain. Lagoon's starting to rise a bit. Crocodiles are on the move. Breeding season. So we've got a few local crocs. Oh, I just saw something out of the front here. That could be interesting. A few bubbles starting to come up there. And females are nesting. Males are sort of fighting, territorial sort of stuff. The yeah, great thing about these airboats is they've got such a flat bottom, they just go across the land and um, nothing, hook on nothing, so they can go on dry land or uh, grass, deep water, shallow water. Very good thing. All right, let's jump on and see what we've got up here. We forgot the fishing rods though, so no barramundi today. So the croc that we're trying to call up now, we've, he's been here for oh, many years. I think he's he's a descendant from Sweetheart. Oi, come on, come on, oi, here he is here. Come on, oi, come on, come on. You've been eating the local cows, have you? You won't last long doing that, mate. Come on, oi. Okay, so we just trick him a little bit. Some big black just thinks it's something enticing. A lot of feral pigs around here. Come on, big fella. Oi, come on. Come on. Oi. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Yeah, so this time of the year, it is breeding season. They're quite active and they're quite aggressive. He's a resident male. He's quite territorial in this area. And uh, he's been here as long as we have, longer, obviously. But I've known him for about six or seven years, and every time I doesn't matter if I've been away for a month, two months, three months, six months, I give him a call. He pops up. He knows, and he remembers. But when they first launch out of the water and they they get a bit of a rattle on, they uh, come out with all their all their energy, all their all their burst, and then they slowly get tired. He's usually a lot fatter. He builds his fat up, and then he burns all his energy this time of the year getting to the females, fighting the males off that are trying to get to his females. He's got about seven or eight females in this area that lay all their nests around this lagoon. And he, he has to fight them, he has to protect his, his territory, look after it, and then service his females. So it's a very, very tiring job for a, uh, a crocodile. Especially when they spend most of their time lazing around, not doing much. I'm just gonna point a couple of things out to you here. You know, we were with um, Tommy's Crocs this morning and two dogs, you know, you see him sort of losing some of his teeth. Now, if you come in here and look at Otis, look at some of his teeth. You can see right in here on his tooth, he's got another tooth just starting to come through there. Same here, one of his big eye teeth are missing. It's because he's been fighting. That will come through and he's also 
missing this big eye tooth. These are the big teeth that he uses to lock onto animals and drag them into the water. He's still got his two front monster teeth there. See that? Has he got his top ones? Let's have a look up top. Yep. Still got his other teeth. So a little dental check for old Otis. We're gonna go for a walk in a minute. And we're gonna go walk across here because it's been so dry. There's a couple of other crocodiles I wanna check on. We, they're up in the rainforest. So we're gonna go for a walk up there. And about three years ago, Tommy lost an outboard when the water was higher. We're gonna go see if we can find that too. A little bit of treasure digging and crocodile hunting. So we'll see what we can find. All right, how cool is this? So we've got, we've got an egret just here in front of me. It's just there. We've got 15 foot crocodile just here. We've got another crocodile out the back. Have a look. How cool is this? Hey, egret, what are you doing? Looking for something to eat? You want a fish, mate? Hey? There you go. A bit of ham out of the ham sandwich. You like that, brass? <laughs> so we just come for a bit of a walk across the flat here, looking for a few of these other crocodiles that have been missing over the uh, dry season. You know, we've got Bone Crunch, I haven't seen him for about four months. Just see a few pigs running around here, a lot of little crocodiles in here. We'll just see who we can see. We'll just see what crocs are around and if they're going to come up to us. Pretty bloody hot out here, but we're seeing a few good crocodiles swimming around in here, so we're hoping maybe one of them will be bone cruncher. Come on! See that little line of bubbles? It means that a crocodile just went through there, stirred up the bottom, and all the bubbles start coming to the surface. In the middle of no man's land, in the middle of the jungle. Keep on going. Look at this. This is this is pretty cool. Turtle shells, right? So, <clears throat> here's one here, right? Oh, probably stinks a bit too. These are uh, a sort of staple diet for the uh, muck muck around here. Muck muck is a white eagle, a uh, white breasted sea eagle, and uh, they love these guys. Little turtles. There's one. That one's still got his head on him. Hey little guy. Looks a bit mummified that one. Look at this. This That's one was a drastic end. Yes, that wasn't an eagle. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, was probably a crocodile. Took a little swipe. Just took him off. Alright, it's nice and warm out here. We'll keep on making our way up through the rainforest. So we've never been able to get up here because it's so densely covered but we've had massive fires through here this dry season you see these palms over here are still recovering from it or oh, just another little crocodile down here just over there anyway we'll keep on rolling i'm gonna have to cross over here we're starting to get a bit of water but um no, i reckon we try and pull this on here we'll go across here whoa Make sure there's no crocodiles around, big seagull up there. Whoa. That's the guy. How you reckon, Tommy? Yeah, easy, man. You mate, reminds me when I used to erect buildings. Well, we could have like a, you know, the log wall. Log, log wall, you ready? Yeah, <laughs> 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 right, here we go. Come on, Polo. Come on, quick, let's go. Let's go, quick, come on. Don't fall in, mate. Crocodile's here. Get out of the way, Dad. <laughs> hey, good boy. Come on, girl, I see you. What the hell is this? Come on, oi. Come on, oi. Come on. This one here, this little crocodile here is called Sweet Thing. I haven't seen her for a long time. Have I, girl? There she comes. There she comes. Come on, girl. Come on, up you come. Here she comes. Oh, oh yeah. Ray! That was my, that was my ankle, girl. What are you doing, girl? Hey, hello. Oh, wow. So good. Been able to see this little girl. Haven't seen her for such a long time. Come up here. She's come straight out of the water. Come out to say good day. She is. 
Hey, there's Tommy in the background. What are you doing, Tommy? So this one here is a little female, aren't you, girl? She's been here for uh, a long time as well, ever since we've sort of been in the area. And uh, some crocodiles get used to us, some don't. And obviously she has, and she's always come up to see us. But um, look at that, eh? Haven't seen her for about six months, and she's just keen as anything to come and see Tommy and I. Ed, hello. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Otis. All right, we've had a pretty full-on day. We just got back from seeing a sweet thing, our crocodile way up in the rainforest. He's pretty keen to see us. Anyway, I think it's time to go to Tommy's pub for a nice, great northern. <laughs> 